All right, Virgo, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This reading is timeless. Whenever you receive this, it is meant for you to hear at this appointed time. You're going to see me doing things a little bit differently. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany, your friendly, intuitive, empathic tarot reader. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to my loyal supporters. And if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. We're going to find out your overall energy and then we're going to check each area of your life. Your earth energy, your air the fire and the water. So Virgo, let's see what divine spirit needs you to know right now. I read intuitively. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. Divine spirit, a single card for our beautiful Virgo. A single card, please. Oh, wow. Okay, Virgo, you've got the sun. You've got some Leo energy. And this is for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. So, Virgo, your overall energy is Leo energy. It is the sun. Isn't that wonderful? It is. So, your overall energy, Virgo, is a lot of joy and vitality. Oh, interesting. Okay. A lot of joy and vitality, what I'm feeling for you. Virgo, okay? Um, there are things that are renewing because, you know, as the sun, the sun rises each day, right? That's a renewal of the day. So I feel like for someone out there, Virgo, there's some renewing happening in your life right now. <clears throat> Two more divine spirits. Okay. Okay. One more. Thank you. You've got, uh, wow, this is beautiful. The world has come up here. We're going to get into it for you, Virgo. Mm -hmm. All right. And the Empress. Wow. Lots of beautiful energy. The sun, the world, the Empress. So lovely. So with this sun, again, Virgo, I'm feeling there's uh, some vitality. There is some joy for you, Virgo. That is your overall energy. I feel like you are enthusiastic about something. You're anti anticipating something great. And from what I see here, it looks like something great is on its way towards you. It's happening now or it's coming very soon for you, Virgo. Okay, that's your overall energy. Coming out first here, we have the Ten of Wands in the earth element. And this has to do with your finances, your home or your career. So this 10 of wands is really interesting showing up here with all the vitality and the joy that your current energy <clears throat> is expressing right now, what I'm feeling. So this 10 of wands is, yeah, there's completion. There's completion here because as I said, something is renewing. There's a renewed spirit with you. So if with that type of energy and then the Ten of Wands coming up in the area of finance, home, or career, there's a completion for you that is happening, uh, Virgo. Um, yeah, there's fulfillment. So I feel like this is... I feel like this is more so in the area of career for some one, for some Virgo. This is not for all Virgo, but for your career, it feels like... You're about to move on from this career. It has been very re rewarding. It has been fulfilling for you. But this is the end of the line for that particular career. And I almost feel like for someone, this has been a career in finance, Virgo. So if that's you, it's time to move on is what I'm feeling. You've had a lot of success in that career. So we're going to move on to the air element. This is dealing with your thoughts and communications and you have the world card coming up in thoughts and communications. It's time to understand and believe. And you need to believe that you are exactly where you need to be and you can go anywhere in the world that you want to go, Virgo. You can be whomever you want to be. So that's what that's what it is. Leaving this career and really, again, I really feel like Virgo, for some Virgo, for some Virgos, this has been a career in finance that you're finally stepping away from. And I feel like you're getting ready to go into a whole new sector. Either you're retiring or it's not time for you to retire. Retire, So you're going to move into a whole different career path, Virgo. 
with this world card showing up in your thoughts and communications, I feel like you've been speaking this new career path into existence. You've been thinking about it for so long. You know you've had great success. You know you can do whatever you put your mind to, Virgo. So for someone out there, you're going in a totally different direction with your career. And then for other Virgos, you are actually going to be retiring. And I feel strongly uh, those retiring are leaving a financial career, even those moving on to a whole other career path. And I don't feel like it's going to be anything to do with with finance, this next career path, uh, Virgo. So let's move on to the fire element. The fire element is dealing with actions and your efforts. So Virgo, you have the three of cups for actions and efforts. And with this card, I feel like you actively pursuing friendships, actively reigniting friendships that have meant a lot to you, but things happen. Life is going to life. And sometimes we, we, um, move apart from each other because life is happening, but not that anything detrimental happened. So with this three of cups, I feel like divine spirit is letting you know, Virgo, it's time to reignite those friendships that have meaning. You just have lost touch a little bit, or it's time to make new friends. It's time to make new friends, Virgo. For some of you, it's time to make new friends. For others of you, it's time to reconnect, get on the horn, get on the text message, do a FaceTime, do a Zoom with someone who's been near and dear to you for quite some time. You've just had life happen, so you kind of strayed apart uh, just because things are going on, you know? So that's what I'm feeling uh, for some Virgos out there. You, are, you either need to go ahead and put yourself back out there to make new friends, or you need to reconnect with old, dear friends, all right? Lastly, we have the Empress coming up in the area of the water element, which is um, the emotions and the relationships. So for the Empress to come up in this area of emotions and relationships, I feel like you're in a time of you're in a time of creation. You want to create more meaningful and solid relationships. You're in a time of nurturing yourself emotionally you are increasing your emotional intelligence like not just saying oh yeah i'm emotionally intelligent and yet you don't have the wherewithal to see where something you may have done it came out wrong so it hurt someone that means your emotional intelligence is quite low when you can't recognize oh i should not have said that but i feel like for some virgos out there you're nurturing your emotional intelligence you're in school you know learning better elevated emotional intelligence that improves your relationships that's what i'm feeling with this empress virgo right so please take how it resonates leave the rest I hope this has blessed you. I hope it has resonated with you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with someone you care about. I really appreciate you being here. I'll see you soon. Until then, take care.